Dayton officials are fighting a stereotype that downtown is not safe, even though statistics show crime is decreasing in the city. Well, tonight, Dan Edwards takes us along as some recent transplants to the Miami Valley get a view of our city that perhaps more could share. Good this is so beautiful. Well, they're members of the New Neighbors League. Gorgeous. Did you know that this theater existed in Dayton? It's an organization that was established in 1949 by the city of Dayton to welcome new people to our community. Dolores Stanton from Los Angeles is one of its newest members. I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do in Dayton? Recently, she and fellow members got a history lesson on the Victoria Theater and Dayton. I like it because it's like a small town and Los Angeles was a huge town. And at Salzman, a transplant from Portland, Oregon, says Dayton is a diamond in the rough. But back in the day, nobody went downtown, deserted on the weekends, and I, with great planning, it became a great city. So I see that for downtown Dayton, and I'm really excited. But a visit to the Oregon district wasn't so pleasant for Dana Bunny. Well, we parked in the back, one of the back parking lots, and we had to walk past three adult bookstores, and that was, that was a bit of a deterrence. Um, however, I think the restaurants down there are very nice. Still, Dana, Annette, and Dolores tell me they feel safe downtown, a perception Dayton police insist is the reality. So for the past five years, the crime is now lower than it ever has been. How do we get over that perception hump, though? We constantly work with the businesses to, to make the perception and environment better. Uh, also, we, we uh, work with economic development teams. Uh, to get the word out that Dayton is, is safe. Faulkner admits the sight of numerous homeless people downtown may make some visitors uneasy. There's a lot of services available uh, within walking distance of downtown, and, and that, of course, uh, attracts uh, people who need those services. And that, combined with the closing of Twin Valley and the people who have mental health issues, and the, hence the reason they're homeless, uh, combined to, to give sometimes a bad impression of downtown. This day and age in suburbia, people find things to do in their specific suburbs and they don't venture out. Faulkner says visitors to downtown Dayton should venture out day and night and enjoy a safe and fun atmosphere. At night, we have a very successful entertainment district, and I'd say that there's more people downtown, not less. In downtown Dayton, Dan Edwards, 2 News on your side.